we were supposed to do a couple of gigs with Alan Holsworth early this year, but we have to postpone it. Uh, we'll see if that happens. Uh, we, I don't know, but uh, that's another huge influence for me when I grew up. And I think that uh, for me, the way Alan's music is, Gary Husband, the drummer Gary Husband is absolutely the best because he, he, the way he plays is the perfect interaction with the way Alan plays, in my, at least in my mind. So I think they do music very natural together. It's very spontaneous. It's very free and open. It's in the spur of the moment. <coughs> it's not something that you rehearse in the rehearsal place and then you just put it out on the, on the gig like that. It's, uh, you listen and you do what you do because of what happens in the music rather than just decide before what to do. You know, and I think Gary Husband is a very good example of somebody that listens and plays what the music requires. I was really influenced by an album a long time ago when I was late in my late teens. I, I found this album called IOU by Alan Holsworth and it's a really rough recording. It's, I think it's recorded on a boat. The, the drumming and the music is so alive, you know. And I remember this was at the time when uh, Chic Korea came out with electric band and everything was super polished and, you know, there was no, no dirt there. But Alan Holsworth IOU was just completely something different and you, you can hear also when it plays sometimes it, it sounds like it's falling apart and it's he, he sounds like um, he sounds like he can't control himself but still it's not that he plays too much just because of that but he the music just makes him do things that is has a musical sense it makes sense what he does in my ears and i think it's uh, rare so and uh, yeah so he's the the he's the best drummer so now we got some nice cozy music drink nescafe best coffee in the world <laughs>